I suppose from day one I recognise that the culture is based on, uh, on respect, uh, honesty and, and hard work and, and I suppose they're three important things to have in, in any organisation. One of our things has been you know, family, we call ourselves the Brumbies family. You know, we, we really treat each other like brothers here and that's what you need out there, you know, because when the going gets tough you want to look to your brother and you be able to count on him. You come to Canberra and you, you get the best out of your rugby and Greg and Lark and those guys really set us up and you know, hopefully you're just a, another number in that jersey that's, um, that's going to take it forward for everybody. Welcome to the home of the Brumbies. Situated on the University of Canberra campus, this fully equipped training facility is starting to fill with the sounds of an organisation gearing up for the new season. As staff and players start to populate the building, every cog in the Brumbies machine starts to turn. All departments begin their planning for the year ahead. Members and fans turn their attention to Super Rugby. New recruits settle into their new rugby lives in a town that is hungry for another championship title. This is Brumby's territory. And for the first time, cameras are given VIP access to their inner sanctum. Last year I was incredibly proud to be part of the organisation. This is your life, you're only getting one shot at it. So first session of the year, no excuses for sloppy execution today. <laughs> well, you can see they're dragging their asses, but they came and they're definitely having fun. <laughs> the Code spends two months with the Brumbies as they navigate their way through the intensity of pre-season training. Secure a front row seat to one of professional rugby's most successful teams. As internationals, veterans and rookies all embark on a journey to secure the greatest prize of them all. I really believe it's our year to hopefully bring home the cup here to Canberra. We want to make it all the way this year and uh, we want to take it out. Every team say they want to win the comp. I think for us, uh, we want to enjoy ourselves. We want to play um, a style of footy that people enjoy. Wish we had a crystal ball to be able to tell everyone what's going to happen, but it's going to be a, a great ride and a, and a good journey, so we're looking forward to that. Get to know the personalities behind the players and the people who will help them in pursuit of their ultimate goal. This is The Code. Life with the Brumbies. Okay, so just looking at a bit of uh, footage from not only last week but the week before. Pre-season presents a sense of urgency and purpose for each member of the coaching and management team. But this is a jump shot, so we've got to be really consistent with our jump shot, otherwise it's not going to work as a backline. Through this pre-season period, it's really about getting the guys in the best possible physical and mental condition to be ready to play Super Rugby. What do you reckon, Rabs, is that you? Yeah. What could you have done different? For head coach Stephen Larkham, yeah, it's also about there. keeping the players on their toes. And then Laos? A bit wider. Not too bad. A bit too wide or a bit wider? A bit yeah, a little bit too wide. <laughs> Okay, so, so just our playmakers there, we're either flattening up to play because we've had such a long season with uh, Super Rugby and NRC. We haven't had our Wallaby boys back into pre-season yet. A couple have actually showed their faces. We've noticed with these other guys that the level of fitness this year is far better than it was this time last year. So we've started with a better base, but there's still some, some work to be done in the January period. Throw a big dummy because then if they do come and get you defensively, you've got to get the ball back here to then throw it again. And the amount of time it takes to get from there back to here to then throw it again, you've lost the opportunity. So what we're doing here, come forward Al. Al's going into my space on this side, so it's a left shoulder contact. For defence coach Peter Ryan, the message is also positive, if only for the delivery being a bit more direct. Steady to fast, steady. Go, 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 go. Good boy. That's the difference. When you f 
and aggressive like that, you get through them a lot better. Righto, you've got the call. They've started to really gel well. Their fitness levels have come right up. Their strength levels are right up. Yeah, I think we're in a really good position. That hurt? <laughs> Should have. Go Tyrell, give us a look. Good finish, Tyrell. Your first one was <laughs> Last one was awesome, mate. Well done. Right now, the players, I believe, are in a, and probably just off peak. I think overall, I think they're just, they're, they're very hard and they're very sharp. And I think that'll lead well into the new year and then obviously into the uh, season. Steady to fast, Bong. Go, go, go. Yeah, good, mate. Just dropped your head a little bit, Bong. Oh. You're right. Yep. You working out, mate? A little. <laughs> I think you're a little bit undertreated. What do you mean? Well, I haven't seen you for. Yeah, I'm being I, don't I haven't seen you for months. Yeah, so the main things that we do this time of year is um, set up basically on. Uh, our 2015 season. Yeah, this is a little bit extra tight, I reckon. A lot of our focus uh, that comes out from our meetings with the coaches is trying to keep as many people on the field at the same time. We know that if we can get the guys out there, we're going to finish at the pointy end of the competition, which is, is a goal for everybody here. I've got Matt coming in to do some orthotic stuff in January. Yep. So you just have a look at yours. It's probably 12 months since you've yep. seen him, isn't it? Yep. We've got a squad of about 36 blokes, so if we can have 34 of those guys on the park uh, for all sessions, and that we hope it's going to translate to as many guys available for selection as possible come round one. All right, let's uh, get into this list. Uh, we've got one more meeting on this uh, next week um, before we all break up. So, number one, me, PD and work plans for all commercial staff, not yet. It's one of the great misnomers of sport that the off-season is an off-season. For us, it's the busiest time of the year. We're compiling everything that we need to do to have a comprehensive commercial program to make the year successful. Uh, 2016 charities. It's an enormously complex business and people don't realise that that takes 365 days a year. We, we rarely take a break here. We've set ourselves some big targets this year, right? So we need to actually start delivering on, on a lot of this stuff. But we also need everybody to step up, you know, exercise initiative, go out and get their kick, kick some asses and, and, and you know, let, let's really get stuff happening. Momentum has started to build, and few would argue that the success of the club is interwoven with the results on the park. And as such, the team starts to prepare for the onslaught of the long season ahead. You're right. We've got a big speed session coming up. 40 minutes continuous speed. I'm not lying to you, like I'm just following the program because I can't coach. So I'm just following the program. Stephen Larkham can coach, and his coaching skill set means that he can turn his hand at almost anything, including this morning's speed session. After all, being a coach is just like being a parent. So you guys are just making it so difficult. Just go the other way. Yeah. Get out of it, Smitty. You're too tight. Go back a bit. Yeah, you can move anywhere, like there's a whole field here. That's good. So one on your right, one on your left, one on your right, one on your left. Yeah, you're going pretty quick. We've got 10 minutes for this block, I don't know why you're hurrying. So don't try and get too far up the hill. Just get up and down, up and down. Yes, that's it, see that? that that's why he's down here as the leader of this group. For mine, I'm a, I'm a technical coach. I enjoy the hands-on part of coaching, so out there on the field with the players. Um, and I guess I feel I understand uh, what they're going through and I can probably see it from their perspective a little bit better than other coaches. <laughs> I'm very personable with the players, so I, I certainly like to understand their situation. Two defenders on the red cones. I've got good experience in that area, obviously coming from a playing background and playing Super Rugby and, and Test Match Rugby in Australia. So I really try to understand the, the individual. You just got to score. Come on, Douse, come on, Douse. Oh, yeah. Oh, f <laughs> you know, my understanding of the way that I play doesn't necessarily help me coach the way these guys play, but it certainly gives me a better insight into what they're seeing, what they're feeling on the field. Oh, no chat, good finish. So this is the decider. It's about trying to, to get a better interaction 
with the players. A lot of my coaching is, is sort of feeling like I'm part of the team and making them feel like they're part of the team. I was trying to go the other way from you, see? If you can, as he turns, push him a little bit. Yellow! <laughs> no, nothing there. Oh, nothing there. It's not just us and them, which, which is what I've had in the past as a player. You know, coaches and players uh, haven't really mingled that well and it's been a bit of us versus them sort of mentality. I want to try and uh, make sure that it's, it's very interactive between the players and the coaches. Oh yeah, one all, one all. He's a very smart bloke and he loves his rugby, so he's obviously developing more and more more skills in more and more areas uh, as a coach. Pick him up, get there. He still remembers what it's like to be a player and he can sort of see things from our perspective as well. No try. Oh, I played with Bernie, so I think from very early on it was evident that he would um, excel in coaching. He was always a great thinker about the game. He was always someone who all the other players would look to to uh, come up with a plan around things and I think he's carried that into his coaching. He's certainly got the respect of the players. Uh, he's got a great knowledge of rugby and how to dissect defences and things like that. And uh, obviously we saw that when he played the game. He was obviously one of my heroes growing up as a kid and then I played a couple of games against him in 2007. You know, no, no one reads the, the game like, like Bernie in, in terms of a rugby brain. I haven't met someone who, who can pull apart a game as well as him. And I guess in that head coach role, he's, he's certainly um, growing into it. That is time, that's time, that's time. With professional athletes, competitiveness bubbles close to the surface. Today it brings an AFL style kicking competition to wind down training. Get there! Ugly! Ugly, but it's getting there! Get over! Any cross code interest is unlikely to be peaked. However, Wallaby Christian Leia Lefano and recent recruit Joe Powell seem determined to present their case. Go again. Miss your little. Where's the respect? Where's the respect on the little? In a one kick takes all elimination, youngster Powell does the gentlemanly thing. I couldn't miss it to be nice. going on? Did you do your hair this morning, Trent? <laughs> Later that morning, the coach and management team gather for a chat about the coming week's so, schedule. Obviously going through this morning, swimming this afternoon, and then tomorrow. As the program operates around the players' training, one voice can and needs to be heard above the rest. Going into the first week back, obviously we're off at Threadbow. So we'll, do some, um, we'll probably do weights here first, and then we'll go out and do some conditioning. We've already booked AIS. My role is the Athletic Performance Director here. Um, on a week-to-week -week basis, that translates into just uh, managing the whole uh, fitness program and working with the coaches to make sure that we're getting them uh, physically robust for rugby. Just to start with, lads, I want three uphill sprints, hands on hips, 70, 80, 90%. As soon as you've done three, meet me down the bottom of the stairs down there. Some weeks it is just a matter of training blokes, some weeks it's a matter of uh, working with the coaches to plan the next two to four weeks ahead. I guess the tasks vary um, quite significantly. Up, 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 as quick as you can, come on. Just wait up here for us when you're done. Yeah, look, obviously uh, it's my first year in a role as performance director and look, it's been a long apprenticeship, probably close to 10 years of both formal and informal education in areas probably that are quite unique compared to others. I've had a number of different influences and. I guess having that eclectic background um, has enabled me to develop a, a somewhat unique skill set, which uh, hopefully will pay off this year. Oh, Eusty, fastest 10. Yeah, we're looking towards uh, developing their strength, speed, power, endurance. Um, so all those things can be worked independently. We'll try and work them together. 
Uh, the, the key for us is to make sure there's no disconnect between what happens in the gym and what happens on field. Right, just down to my hand, okay? Just do four each side for me, right? Um, there's no point in making them strong uh, on a bench press or on a squat because the transfer of that's quite limited outside, so we try and uh, integrate that through with a number of different ways. Biggest physical challenge is getting through as much pre-season training as possible um, because the loads are quite high um, and so quite often it's, it's easy for niggles to settle in and so it's a matter of keeping as many people out there for as long as possible and doing as much as possible. I consider myself very lucky to be involved at Brums. Um, very rarely do you get an opportunity to step into a club that's very successful and head up the program um, as your first opportunity and, and have a genuine chance to win a trophy. But aside from the success that's available, the, the culture that's around this place is second to none. Um, I've never experienced it elsewhere. It is genuinely a family, um, both players and coaches. For me, I consider this the best job in the world. I enjoy coming to work. And if you use that old cliche, you never work a day in your life. If you enjoy your job, well, I'm living that. As the Brumbies head deeper into their December program, the daily routine is a stark reminder that professional rugby is a full-time job and as such, every hour of the day is carefully planned, monitored and executed precisely. And as the players ready themselves for another day in the Canberra heat, the coaching team sharpen up their own competitive skills with target practice of the kicking kind. That's not so bad. Oh, Stephen, look at that, he's got it turning around the corner and everything. Oh, Baba! I'm going to have to have a crack at it from here, I think. Whoops. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, no, it's rolling straight through. Palms, where's that been? Ah, <laughs> oh, get out of the sand. That's pa. Get in, Has get he? in there. Has he? Oh! <laughs> palms, palms, get in. <laughs> oh, Daniel. <laughs> Only one. Congratulations. <laughs> you win. What are these clowns out here? Morning, brother, wake up. up. Getting dough on the list before I bake up. Herbert list, green be the theme. Word to my vegetarian team. Through the sunshine in, step out to take you all the beans. The way you came out, they raised that they gleaming down on me. The training sessions continue throughout the whole day, broken only by meetings and meals. It is a war of attrition, but it's necessary hard work that will ensure long term readiness for the 17 round competition. I'm going to be fitting you today, so just come over here. The routine is often broken up by the occasional commitment outside of the grind of physical training. One often wonders which is more difficult. When we fit shirts, we kind of like fit the neck, the shoulders and the waist. For Liz Macon, he'd be more comfortable in the middle of a scrum. Generally with football players as well, it will need taking in at the waist because you've obviously um, heavy around the shoulders. Now that looks like, is that a little bit snug? Looks good with your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> and we are done, my friend. Yeah. What a perfect day for open air cinema. So you're thinking, on this side, off the field. I was actually wondering about doing it on the diagonal. Um, so tonight we're hosting an open air cinema evening for Brumbies members and friends and family. Uh, it's a week away from Christmas, so we've chosen to do Elf, which is everyone's favourite Christmas movie. Okay, so you're thinking here, on, the, on this corner here? Yeah. 
I reckon that could be good, okay. and then everyone can sit in this area yeah. here. If we have it here, people can go as far as they like. Yeah. If we if we do get a big crowd, yeah, then exactly. we people could go as far back as they wanted. There's no limitation there. Okay. Shall we check on the power access? Yes. We've never done this before. This is the first time we've hosted an open air cinema night. Um, we, we obviously have other sort of fan engagement days, meet the players days and that kind of thing, but this is the first time we've hosted this event. So we'll use it as a test case. Okay, so let's just do one final check of everything before tonight. Yep. Um, so you've spoken to Lachlan? I have, so I spoke to him yesterday. He's planning to arrive at about 5.30. Okay. We've just invited our members to come along just to have a have a good time before Christmas and it's it's just about getting the community together and doing something for them. Oh, yep. and um, Rolfie has organised for the sprinklers to not come on. Good, good. <laughs> that would have been an issue. Um, we're setting it up here this evening and we're expecting crowds to arrive in, in about an hour's time from now. They've blown up a giant movie screen which we're about to watch our little Christmas movie just, just uh, the eve before Christmas. Two of my favourite things, Brumbies and Elf, any Will Ferrell movies, so loving it. We're just here tonight to support the Brumbies, all the members are here. Nice family atmosphere, we're just having a couple of pizzas, hanging out. The purpose of an event like tonight is really about giving back to our members. From a family perspective, the Brumbies do it brilliantly. They're, um, they're, they're fantastic at the family side of it. And that, that's been um, the draw card for us, having uh, eight children. It makes it just a bit more than going to a football game on Friday night. We try to, to do a range of different activities for them, particularly for families that, that don't necessarily involve rugby. Obviously, the main thing for being a member is you come into the games, but we like to try and enhance that experience as much as we can outside of game day as well. So events like this are just a way for us to give back and to thank them for their support. So the journey for the 2016 Brumbies takes its first step. Brumbies on three, one, two, three, Brumbies! It's a story with a yet unwritten ending, the narrative of which will play out over the next few months. But for now, witness firsthand the ties that bind this organisation together. It's always good fun when you when you take sort of a super rugby game to, to regional areas. But I'd rather you fill so we create the extra man. I went to the video referee, mate. It was not a f try. My speciality is uh, passing from left to right. They are accommodating until you um until you get wrong. And now we pick up the washing that we dropped in last night. Okay, mate. Um, do you have the number for the laundry, mate? Run through every f gap. Pick the. F Energy up and enjoy this last little bit, boys. It looks like we're going to get to know each other quite well because we're pretty much sleeping on top of each other. Oh no, that'll be a card. A few of them have struggled at the moment, but they're sort of getting the hang of it. Heaps of training, time to bloody play. You know, just love to get a few more caps maybe next year and you know prove them up to this level. I can eat a, that bowl of um, what's that there? Mayonnaise. Right, I get to those outside backs. Tell Smitty to set wider. That was a real team effort. We carried the flag to the top. What are we gonna have for dinner? I think Alan's going to go to the shops. Heaps of salad for you boys, eh? I don't know, mate. Next time on The Code, Life with the Brumbies. The Wallabies return after their World Cup campaign. We meet up-and-coming prospect Joe Powell and the team travels to Threadbow for some tough love. <laughs>